Baseball is back at City Field. This afternoon, the Mets will play the Arizona Diamondbacks in their home opener. That song is stuck in my head, and John Diaz is head, who is live at City Field in Queens, where today Mets fans will get to cheer on their home team. John, good morning. Bring the kids, bring the wife. You're going to have the time of your life, right? I think that's how that song goes. Love that song. Good morning to both of you. I'm sure someone is tailgating somewhere here this morning for this big day, right? Anticipation it is definitely growing already out here at City Field. It's going to be a special home opener here today. A really jam packed schedule out here today. Uh, but really, what most people are excited for roll back COVID restrictions. There's going to be a packed stadium yet again. With fans in the stands, what a season it could be for the Mets on this 60th anniversary year. State of the art technology will be greeting guests like facial ticketing for faster entry and triple the digital cameras around the stadium. From end to end, from foul pole to foul pole. 4K LED. There's ticket promotions. Starting at just $75 a month, fans can uh, attend all games here at City Field. And classics like bobblehead giveaways. And this season, the Mets are hoping to get the stands equally male and female. We're opening up a dedicated store, the Mets Dugout Shop for Women. The team is also continuing to up their food game. It's crazy what we do here. We try to take your ballpark fair and elevate it with popular eateries like Shake Shack, Murray's Mac and Cheese and Pig Beach Barbecue. What about the good old fashioned hot dog? Well, so a hot dog is still our staple. While the team looks to the future, they're also honoring glory teams of the past, including one special player. Seaver, nicknamed the franchise by New York writers, begins in overpowering fashion. Tom Seaver, who passed away nearly two years ago. He was a an artist on the mound. He was able to work hitters and he played against and pitched against some of the greatest players in the history of the game. The Mets transformation from lovable losers to world champions began with Seaver joining the team in 1967. Today they will continue to thank him in an amazing way by unveiling a 10 foot tall statue of him in the middle of his iconic pitching motion. Tom Seaver in his delivery was iconic with the way, you know, his his motion was Pretty complex. Now, the first pitch is scheduled for 1 at 10. The gates open up at 1040, and the parking lot open up an hour before that. So, again, this parking lot can be full of excited fans in no time. We're live this morning from City Field. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. There must be some of them somewhere, John. We're still looking. Thank you so much. <laughs>